This is NPL 1, Pauline Lyons versus Box Hill United, Teo Pelizzeri, Griffin McMaster and Brandon Galgano, your call team. Counting down to what is a crucial match in the NPL 1. Two teams go up, Avondale Heights have just about stamped their ticket in the top division next season, but both of these teams will have aspirations to join them. And uh, the Heights, Griff, are moving closer and closer to sealing the title mathematically. It's just been a, a runaway effort from them. Uh, Anthony Barbieri's men have uh, not been unstoppable. In, if anything, they've had a bit of a form slump in recent weeks, but they still find themselves with a double-figure lead up at the top of the NPL. In fact, coming into tonight's match, they're on 45 points. North Geelong, 34. Box Hill, 33. Richmond, 32. St Albans, 31. Moreland, 29. And Bulleen, 28. So this one really is a must-win for the Bulleen Lions. So, ball at left back for Breslin. He'll hit a diagonal ball long, looking for Nishimoto. Top It'll ball. Bounce on the synthetic perfectly into his possession. He spins on the right-hand side of the area, turns onto his left, and tried for the spectacular going at the top left corner. But it sails high, wide, and out for a goal kick at the creek end. Yeah, that was a fantastic pass there from the left back. And Nishimoto, he's, uh, he's got su such great speed on him, a great little turn. To Romas, out to the right-hand side. Bullion showing what they can do when they string some passes together. Ball down the right, looking for Nishimoto, and it's intercepted by Pocaro. He puts it out for a throw. Straight back in quickly. Dimek on the right-hand side. Crosses to the penalty spot. Katabian is there first, and it's a looping header. He couldn't get it down and drive it at the keeper, and it's easily into his grasp. Throw it on the left, looking at the top of the penalty area for Bulleen. Gasoli onto into Katabian's path. His attempt to find Dow was knocked away from him. Defended by Box Hill. Schroen clearing it out from right back. Pass was a little bit over hit for Peters. But he gets it back to Schroen. And he's caught in possession by Katabian. Slide challenge comes in on the synthetic, but Katabian keeps the ball. Curling it into the area. And then Nishimoto went for the volley. He got his feet up high, but he sent it wide of the left-hand post. Yeah, very good ball inside uh, near the six-yard box there. Katabian trying. To, I think Nishikuri, wasn't it? Nishimoto. Nishimoto, no, no. sorry, trying to get a foot on the end of it uh, to no avail. So I think Box Hill can definitely uh, breathe a sigh of relief. The corner to be taken from the left. Demek swings it in to a central position, headed off the near post by Peter Sakis, follows in with the volley well outside the area. It was just a hopeful hit at the ball, left foot, and it sails about a metre over the bar. Ball into the attacking third for Bullen. Nice pass by Dow. Finds Katabian and a shot flashes in. Pavlidis is down to his left and he makes a good save. Yeah, routine save from Pavlidis. Uh, not too much uh, degree of difficulty there. Here comes the delivery and the flick header on and a few has nodded it over the bar and out for a goal kick. Yeah, brilliant cross in there from Mariki. He's just drilled it into that near post. It's Nishimoto, wins the ball off Schroen, deep on the left, turns onto his right, this time crossing it in, Katabian, 1-0 Bulleen, a good header beating Pavlidis at the back post, and the home team is in front, and after talking about his left foot for the entire first half, Nishimoto turns onto his right and catches everyone by surprise. Nishimoto, uh, a great assist there, Katabian getting on the end of it, Pavlidis, he dived to his left, he couldn't quite do enough to keep it out. And uh, a great header there by Katabian. Gets Bulleen on the front foot and they're leading one goal to nil. Well, I was just going to say before as well, Bulleen was struggling with that final ball into the box, but Nishimoto got it absolutely perfect there. It's a great ball in, wonderful technique on the header from Katabian. He's just flicked it past the goalkeeper. He'll turn back in board and pass it. And it's turned over by Mariki. And now Katabian breaking away into the attacking half. Plays it to the advantage of Nishimoto. Look at the pace. He's got Schroen covered. And now he's into the area and backtracking. Schroen and also the man they're making a contest, Del Monaco. And the two of them converge in a pincer movement and are able to affect the cross. It's plucked out of the air comfortably in the end. We'll stay with play for building anticipation here, but there's a crossfield pass and Box Hill breaking into the area, backtracking Borghese. He does very well to take it off the feet of Irwin. I think he just got a little bit excited and let the ball run out of his control. And now there's a foul and it is going Bulleen's way. So they're a brief attack and Box Hill are trying to claim the ball as their own. I think the referee says, no, it is. Ball on the left, Bakari. 
plays it into the centre of the park. Peters, caught in possession, hasn't been quite as prolific on the ball in this half. Nishimoto coming away with it, tries the Hollywood ball, and it's going to work out here for Canabian. He sweeps onto it, central left position, into the area, and he goes for the left-footed shot, and Schroen arriving perhaps did enough to put him off. It's over the bar and out for a goal kick. Yeah, fantastic pass there to set up Canabian, who just on his left foot there, didn't have the space to cut inside to his lo- on his, onto his right like we know he likes to do, so... Here it comes. This one is high to the back post. A few the target, and it's batted away from him. Well kept there by Banovich. Through the area, crossed back in. Irwin underneath it, heads it down. Shouts for handball against Canavian. Referee not even going to acknowledge it. Yeah, it did work very well, Bully. Banovich, uh, very strong there. Good punch. Uh, cleared, well, it didn't rot quite clear total danger, but uh, it was good to see that he was positive off his line. Kicks it out to the right-hand side. Katabian underneath it. Picaro guarding him. Katabian just guides it into his possession. Hard up against the right-hand sideline to Hussoli. And now he passes back. Romas now down the line. Balan into the area. Katabian is going to chase after it on the right. And he tried for the impossible angle. And it's well read there by Pavlidis. And he short circuits any attack. It was good determination from Katabian. I uh, know oh uh, it availed to uh, nothing Pavlidis there just with the routine catch. It was just good to see that he really put the burners on. And uh... He's solely into the area. Nishimoto takes it into his control. Left-footed shot. It's through the keeper underneath Pavlidis, but he got just enough of a touch on it to turn it wide for a corner. Nishimoto, what a brilliant ball into the area. Just a little deft lob to put uh, Nishimoto in on goal and uh, Pavlidis, well he did enough he did enough, he made the save uh, and has forced the corner so uh, uh, full credit to him Ball is at the corner, hits the flag and stays in chance for Canterbury for Berlin, left side of the area tees up Sarkis, last ditch challenge comes in from Collier and the ball is deflected wide for a goal kick Two in the wall. And Mario standing over it for Box Hill. We're into stoppage time. The 90 minutes is up. Can they grab an equaliser? Here comes the set piece. Drifting to the back post. The header goes up from Valadon. And it skims the post on its way out for a goal kick. A scramble at the back post. But Bulleen survive. There's heart palpitations there at the back. Uh, unbelievable what happened. Ball the far post. Uh, a bit of a, a goal mouth scramble. And uh, well, it's hit the post and gone out for a goal kick. Valadon very nearly pinching a late equaliser for Box Hill. Schroen with the long throw in from the left. Howard goes to ground as he tried to win the header. It went out of his own penalty area. Katabian knocks it up to the halfway line. Peters takes possession for Box Hill. Now Collier can't go backwards. And the referee looks at the watch and keeps playing. Pavlidis over the ball. He hits a low drive straight to Donitas, and now a pass back. Here goes Irwin, Turnover. gives it up to Katabian. He can score a second here, breaks Goal. into the area, and seals the points. Pauline Lions 2, Box Hill United nil. a 95th minute goal, and Pauline Lions pressing up for the entire game, eventually get their award. They will win, and they will return to the promotion picture in NPL 1. Yeah, right, turn over there at the back, uh, diabolical for Box Hill, uh, Pavlidis there, all he had to do was go long there, try and force something forward, but uh, couldn't quite do it, bad turnover at the back, and uh, Bulleen really uh, paying, paying the price for Box Hill's bad mistake, and uh, of course uh, Bulleen, they're going to go away with the points. Pavlidis at the heart of defence. We're into the 52nd minute of tonight's match and the referee eventually brings it to a close. It is Bulleen Lions 2, Box Hill 0. Well, uh, we've got uh, Joe Catabian down on the sidelines. He's with Brandon Galgano. We'll try and tune in and hear as much of this interview as we can. Yeah, Joey, obviously massive three points for your boys tonight coming off five games without a win. A goal for yourself, or two goals for yourself. What were your thoughts? Oh, well, from the start we knew it was going to be a tough game. Box Hill, one of the best teams in the competition, up there with the top two. So, um, no, it was good to get a win. We need to get back on track. 
Yeah, definitely. And considering tonight, very cold, very chilly conditions, the ground was moving very quick. You boys played the game. Considering Box Hill liked to hold the ball, we didn't give them much opportunity going forward. Well, we just worked on it at training. We knew, yeah, obviously they like to play the ball around. Again, probably the best in the comp of doing that. But we pressed well, pressed very well at the top on the ball and obviously scored some goals from it. It was awesome. Obviously, two goals for yourself. Fantastic night for you. What were your aims coming into the game and for the rest of the season now? Look, well, the two goals are a bonus, but uh, just a win. We needed the three points. I think we dropped down a fifth or something, so we needed the three points. It was good to get um, the two goals, but the team performance was awesome. Joe, uh, your, your team's defence at times this season has, has been leaky. We, the last time we saw you was in the Richmond game where you conceded five. Has it been something that's been talked about a lot, or was it just an expectation from Fab and the, the coaching staff that the defence would know what to do to turn things around? Well, to be honest, um, we copped the 10 goals in two games and eight of them were from set pieces. So we work very hard on the set pieces. We know they have Kenny up front for Box Hill, who's the big, he's very dangerous up in the air. So we worked on it very well. Obviously, it paid off. They didn't really get a chance on goal with the set piece. Joe, winless in uh, five. It must be a bit of a relief to finally notch that uh, win tonight, get some confidence back with the team. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a great win. We, we, we definitely needed it coming from second position, dropping down to fifth. Five games without uh, a win disappointing but I think it's going to go back up from here which is good. And Joe your 17th and 18th goals of the season tonight, do you have an agent and if not uh, should one be uh, seeking you out for, for higher uh, honours uh, further up the uh, the football pyramid? Uh, i got, got no idea about that, I'm just, just concentrating on Bullen at the moment, want to finish the season off on a high and we'll see what happens from there. Well your form is outstanding, we've loved your, your effort tonight and also your team's performance. Go in and enjoy the win and thanks for joining us on NPL Vic Live. Thanks for that, appreciate it. That's it from Bulleen tonight. The final score, Bulleen Lions 2, Joe Catabian with a double, defeating Box Hill United. Nil, my name's Teo Pelizzeri. Goodbye for now.